Since the Harvey Weinstein scandal eclipsed the entertainment world, the games industry has also been attempting to reflect. Women working in games or enjoying playing games were not surprised. This was simply a validation of concerns many raised during the Gamergate controversy of 2014. At the time, industry women and allies were subjected to vile abuse for attempting to establish a gender balance in the industry. And although there were varying calls for structural change, it is debatable whether any of it has really been achieved. In the four years since Gamergate, a genuine support system for women, a centralized movement or institution has not been created. We are still experiencing the same harassment, pay gap issues, lack of diversity and antisocial working conditions. Indeed, many video game studios will offer foosball tables or a free gym membership instead of maternity leave or mental health days off. How can we provide a safe path for the next generation of women representatives in the games industry while failing to build concrete structures for their well-being? I suggest that right now is a great moment for that. A recently released survey revealed that out of more than 2,200 developers surveyed, 56% said yes when asked if they would vote to form a national trade union of game developers in their own countries. That's up from 2009, where just 35% of more than 3,300 developers said they would vote in favor of unionizing at the time. A strong trade union movement wouldn't just improve pay and health and safety conditions, but would be an obvious go-to place to report any sexual harassment cases or lawful firing, independent from the workplace. Now, I know what some of you may think, sexual harassment and the imbalances in the gender relations are a wider societal problem that manifests itself beyond the workplace. But in every case, violence against women is a result of women's historic status as property, a product of the division of society into exploited and exploiting classes. Women's bodies are a subject of capitalist exploitation, and very often that is reflected in our workplace, whether that's domestic labor or our professional environment. And yet in liberal feminism, so prevalent in the games industry, sadly the ambition for changing the whole of society is replaced by the demand to change our own lifestyles. There exists this fetishism of self-care and so on. So what are the practical solutions women in the games industry could take in order to improve their material position and at the same time repossessing the power over their subjects? Do whistle blow. Times have changed. This is not 1970s Atari. And macho environments in a games company are more likely to result in a PR disaster. Get in touch with sympathetic industry journalists and open up with your story, even if you do it anonymously. The recent President's Club controversy in Britain and the heads that rolled after that indicate that people do care. A day to put in your diaries is 8th of March, when feminist organizers around the world are calling for an international women's strike. The vast majority of us do not call out harassment for a fear of being replaced. Well, 8th of March is a day to be collectively vocal and protest against the economic insecurity that prevents us from speaking out. Use this day for checking the possibility of unionizing in your studio, perhaps organizing a mass walkout. This is not just about better pay, it's about building ladders that will last. It's about creating mechanisms for women to feel safe, both physically and materially. Something we have really failed to do in the wake of Gamergate. But in order to gain acceptance, games industry will roar to anyone that will listen about its billion pound revenues. But it's time to really think where these profits are going. And if you're a director of a huge games company and you're not prepared to spend on sick pay, holidays, pensions, maternity leave, mental health days off, and will not allow your workers to unionize, your priorities are now becoming very visible. Gaming needs feminism and feminism needs unions. Now I'm looking forward to hearing your stories. Please do email mariam.motnavaramedia.com. I'll see you soon. Bye.